Dear students, Module 28, Genetics of the Immune System. The main objectives are to know about the basic concepts of antibodies, to understand different types of antibodies, to explain the functions of antibodies, to know about the development of antibodies during antigen attack to know about the antigen antibody reactions. Introduction Immunogenetics is the study of different antigens and antibodies. The interaction between the antigens and the antibodies are significant to study which bring out the immune response. Many antigens inside the body bind with specific antibodies. The genetics behind the formation and the interaction of antigen and antibodies brought up in the immunogenetics. How exactly the antibodies are formed and specific to the invading antigens are essential to study on this topic. This shows the mechanism of genetics and is controlling system towards the immune response. Hence, this episode further explains in the following topics. A. Structure of antibodies. B. Different classes of antibodies. C. Functions of antibodies. D. Development of antibodies by VDJ recombinations. E antigen antibody reactions. A structure of the antibodies. Antibodies are the peptide molecules secreted from plasma cells and are under the family of immunoglobin. Hence, antibodies are known as immunoglobins Ig. They consist of two light and two heavy chains. These are the two kinds of protein chains. Two light chains are identical and two heavy chains are also similar to each other. Heavy chains further classified into five types of chains and they are alpha, gamma, delta, mu and epsilon. Immunoglobulins are divided into five types IgA, IgE, IgG, IgD and IgM. Generally, the structure of the antibody will be of Y shape consists of two light and two heavy chains. Light chains are attached to the heavy chains by one sulphide linkage. Two heavy chains are connect by two sulphide linkages. The upper arms of the structure are called as FAB region which is specific for the interaction with the antigens and the lower end region is called as FC region which interacts with the receptors on the membrane surface of the cells of the immune system. The peptide chains in the different classes of antibodies get based on the repeats of the amino acids in those chains. In different zones of the repeats in the amino acids, the strings are also connected by the sulphide bonds. The anterior part of the FAB region is called the variable V region. As the name says, 
the amino acid sequence in that variable region gets varies from cell to cell. In our body, there are so many pathogens involved in the pathogenic reactions. Hence, the antibodies specific to those antigens are synthesized by the small variations in their productions. The remaining part of the antibody is known as the constant or, re or C region, where the amino acid sequence will not get changed. Domain of the antibodies are the functional regions of the antibody. There are two types of following domains, antigen binding domain F V and F A B and effector domain F C. Antigen binding domains are the variable domains and effector domain is the constant domain. Each light and heavy chain of the antibody consists of variable domains and one constant domain makes the reason for the binding of cells of the immune system. The F V and F A B are the heterodimers. F V region of light and heavy chain consists of variable domains. F A B consists of F V constant domain of light chain and constant domain of the heavy chain. F C is the constant domain which is a homodimer. It consists of C H 2 and C H 3 domains of the heavy chain. There is one region called hinge region where the antibody can be cleaved enzymatically to give the antigen binding and constant fragments. B different classes of antibodies immunoglobins IgA is formed as the dimer with two antibody units joined together by the joining chain. It consists of two following forms IgA 1 and IgA 2. This antibody is also called a secretory immunoglobulin because it often found in saliva, tears and different secretory structures and provide the primary defense. It mainly fights against the pathogens as it present in the saliva and tears. Immunoglobins IgD antibody present as a single molecule and structure is similar to the IgA. They also present as the B cell antigen receptors. The IgD mainly interacts with the mast cells and involved in allergic reactions. It can also bring out some autoimmune and hypersensitivity results. Immunoglobins IgE, the antibody is also involved in some allergic reactions and importantly in the type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. It can also interact with the receptors of the mast cells when two IgE molecules interact on the mast cells and the result in the release of some chemical particles from the mast cells. The chemical molecules such as histamines and bradykinin help in the target tissue damage. This antibody can also fight against the worms. IgE coat around the worm and bring the cytotoxic cells. 
cytotoxic cells attached to the FC region of IgE and release some factors which make pores on the membrane of the worm. Immunoglobin IgG antibody is one of the essential antibody which can transfer from the placenta to the newborn baby. This antibody present in more quantity about 70 to 75 percent compared to the other antibodies in the blood. IgG consists of four following subclasses IgG 1, IgG 2, IgG 3 and IgG 4. Because of its abundance, IgG plays its main role in the humoral immune response. They are found in the monomeric form and usually have a small size and can diffuse through the membrane. They perform in the antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity ADCC responses where they bind to the receptor on the phagocytic cells to kill the antigen. IgG shows its action against the antigens. There will be more production of IgG by the plasma cells. Immunoglobin IgM forms the pentamer structure. These are the antibodies commonly produced as the default immunoglobin by any B cells. A most common form in a monomeric form which is present on the surface of B cells as a B cell receptor BCRs. Some other form is the secretory IgM as it consists of 5 arms and 10 antigens can bind to them. Because of the unique structure, it is used in fixing the complement proteins more quickly than other immunoglobins. C. Functions of the antibodies. Neutralization. When a part of the pathogen generally called as the antigen enters into the body, antibodies synthesize and they bind to the antigen. There will a formation of when antigen antibody complex. This is known as neutralization. The electrolytes play an essential role in the antigen antibody reaction. Opsonization when entire pathogen gets to enter into the body, the antibodies bind around the surface of the antigen. Normally, this pathogen can be recognized by the phagocytic cells, but when they coated with the antibodies, suddenly they become the delicious meal for the phagocytic cells. Phagocytic cells can engulf and kill them. This process is known as optonization, signaling system. Antibodies can act as a signaling molecules. There are some subclasses of the antibodies involved in the signaling process. IgG4 involved in some chemical signaling and are also serve as some receptors. Complement activation pathway. The antibodies like IgG1 and IgG3 
will bind to the surface of the target cell. The complement proteins can come and bind to the FC regions of the antibody and get activated. Then those complement proteins will make pores on the membrane of the target cell and lies the cell. Antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity. It is also the same type of activations of the immune response as the complement system. Instead of complement protein here, the cytotoxic T cells bind to the FC region of the antibodies and release some chemical molecules by lysis the target cells. Complement system. This system comprises many proteins responsible for the activation and the amplification of the antibodies. These proteins play the main role in the immune response. There are many such complement proteins. C3 is one such protein plays an important role. Deficiency of this protein may lead to many infections. The complement activation process is the activation of the proteins which forms the membrane attack complex which is also called as MAC, MAC. This complex forms the pores on the membrane of the pathogen and lysis it. There are mainly two significant types of activation reaction processes namely the classical pathway of activation and the alternative pathway of activation. Both the activation process include the cascades of protein interaction. When the pathogen enters inside the body, they get coated by the antibodies around them. One possibilities of killing that pathogen is by opsonization process where the phagocytic cells can easily get activated and engulf the target cell to kill that. Another way of killing the pathogen is through the complementing system. The antibody coated pathogen can directly activate the complement proteins which will ultimately form the membrane attack complex to create the pores on the membrane of the pathogen. Usually a complement protein has two subunits namely C A and C B. C A is the smaller subunit and C B is the larger subunit. In the classical pathway process, the first protein gets activated the C 1 protein. It has Q, R and S as the different st structural units. This C1 QRS will bind to the FC region of the antibody. C1 will recruit C4 and C4 will cleave to form C4A and C4B. C4B will attack on the membrane of the antigen, whereas C4A will leave the attachment and act as an anaphylatoxin. The C 4 B will then recruit C 2. C 2 will cleave to form C 2 A and C 2 B, where the C 2 A will bind with C 2 B to form C 3 convertase. Then the C 3 convertase will break the C 3 into C 3 A and C 3 B. C 3 A will release 
and there will be a, a formation of C 4 B C 2 A and C 3 B complex that is called C 5 convertase. This C 5 convertase will break the C 5 into C 5 A and C 5 B. Again the C 5 A will get released and C 5 B will bind to the complex to form a C 4 B, C 2 A, C 3 B, C 5 B complex. This complex will recruit C 6, C 7, C 8 and C 9 proteins. All these proteins will form the membrane attack complex. They will create the pores on the membrane through which the electrolytes will exchange and alter the membrane osmolarity which ultimately lies the cell. In the case of the alternative pathway process, C 3 will act the critical role. The cleaved subunit of C 3 forms C 3 A and C 3 B. C 3 A acts as an anaphylactic toxin whereas, C 3 B will activate the factors called factor B. Both of these components will be in the inactive form until the attachment of another factor called factor D. Factor D will enable the C 3 B and C 3 B will attack on the membrane of the pathogen and recruit more factor B. Again the cascades will repeat so that factor B will cleave more C 3 and the number of C 3 B will form and attach to the initial component of C 3 B on the membrane. This alternative pathway will not need any C 4 or C 2 proteins to activate C 3 proteins. This C 3 B acting as a C 5 convertase will cleave the C 5 into C 5 A and C 5 B. As it is mentioned above, C 5 A will release out and C 5 B will again recruit C 6, C 9 proteins to form the membrane attack complex. D development of antibodies by V D J recombination. As mentioned above, the antibody has variable and constant region. The transcription process and other recombination events in the coding regions of the genes are responsible for the variation. Hence, there will be a production of variety of variable region in different antibodies. Somatic hypermutations and antibody class switching are more in the variable region. Hypermutations usually shows the deletion mutation where the coding regions of the gene that is variable diversity and joining get deleted during the recombination called the V D J recombination. Hence, the site specific recombination plays an essential role. The recombination occurs in the variable region is very useful, but the recombination changes in the constant regions are not that active. Only some modification will help in the production of different types of antibodies that is IgA, IgE and IgD. There will be some specific regions in the constant region 
where the recombination occurs. The recombination can either happen in the first region near the VDJ region or any other regions results in the formation of different types of antibodies. The antibody class can be determined by the specific region which presents near the VDJ regions. If the region M shows near the VDJ region, then it is identified as IgM. There will be different varieties of variable regions produced. When it finds the perfect binding with the antigen with proper antibody class, then B cells are guided to produce more amount of that antibody against the antigen. E antigen antibody reactions. Antigens can be proteins, lipid or any other conjugated proteins. Antibodies have a F A B region for the binding of antigens. Generally, two antigens can bind to one antibody. The association between the antibody and the antigen is a weak interaction with the non-covalent intermolecular forces. The association depends on the hydrogen bond, van der Waal force and hydrophobic interaction. There are also some strong association present. Antibodies comprise the binding region is called as paratopes. The antigen consists of epitopes as the binding factors. There are some basic terms for the measurement of the antibody and the reactions for the antigens. One affinity antibody shows that the affinity of the antigen towards the antibody. Several antigens are going to bind with the antibody. Two, valency. There is the possibility of binding two different antigen to the two binding sites on the antibody. This type of binding interaction is known as valency of that antibody. Evidity. If we mix 5 antibodies and 20 antigen, then the total affinity between all the antigens and antibodies are known as evidity. 4. Specificity. Some antibodies show affinity towards only some specific antigen. It is known as the specificity of that antibody. The clonal selection process includes the B cell and T cells which select the antigen entered into the body and the clonal process of producing more number of same cells occur specifically to kill that antigen. Clonal selection theory is the most accepted theory for the production of antibodies. This theory explains the particular lymphocytes proliferates in more number specific for the antigen and produce antibodies to kill those antigen. The cells will not produce antibodies continuously every time until they encounter by a specific antigen. There will be many different antigens or immunogens. Immunogens means the molecules which triggers the immune action. There are some surface molecules on the antigen called as the antigenic determinants. These molecules can interact with the antibodies on the surface of the cell. There will be many different antigenic determinants 
specific for the antibodies. Hence, when an antigen comes in contact with the antibody on the particular lymphocyte cells, the proper interaction will lead to the proliferation of that particular lymphocytes that is B cells. The proliferations and the maturation of the B cells occur to form the plasma cells. The clone cells are created to synthesize the antibodies against that particular antigen. There will be a need for electrolytes importantly for the antigen antibody reactions. As a primary stage, there will be a formation of antigen antibody complex with weak interaction. The second stage will lead to the precipitation and agglutination. Finally, there will be the neutralization or killing of that antigen. Precipitation reaction, the soluble antigen and the soluble antibody combine to form the insoluble AGAB complex. The lattice hypothesis explain that when there is a correct concentration of both antigen and antibody, then the precipitates to form the lattice. If there is a increase in the concentration of any of them, then there is no precipitation occurs to form the lattice. Agglutination, soluble antibody with the insoluble antigen lead to agglutination. It is sensitive than the precipitation reaction. To conclude, it is essential to know the genetics of the immune system and behind the action of every immune response, the antibody antigen reactions or the interaction of the cells of the immune system with other cells show effective immune responses. Thank you.